It's me, Blanche, and I have a special guest. I brought my hey. daughter, Natalia, on board here because we're gonna do a fun DIY project. Now, first, I wanna say there's a lot of new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. If you guys don't know about us, my name is Blanche, and this channel is all about making Middle Eastern food fast, easy, accessible, and fun. And today, we're gonna do a super fun project. Dessert. Dessert. We are chilling on a Saturday, and we thought, why don't we do a project where we can create beautiful truffles that we can give as gifts. But we are going to make it with a very special ingredient, so stick around. Okay, so Natalia, the guys at Cortas sent me this nice little gift in the mail. Do you know what it is? No idea. You don't know what it is? No, I don't know. She didn't tell me. I don't even know what we're making. Okay. Well, it's called halawa in Arabic. Look at that. Oh wait, yeah, I do know what that is. Do you know what, do you remember eating this? Where do you remember seeing this? Um, remember when we went to Ramallah in the West Bank in Palestine and then they had this in the breakfast buffet? Mm -hmm. So Arabs eat this for breakfast, they eat this as dessert. And you know, my mom Vera, which you've seen on the show many times, she actually used to eat this as a kid sliced on bread. But what is it? People are like, what, what, do you, what is in your hand? It is actually a sesame confection. It's made of sesame seeds and sugar, and it's sort of blocked like a sesame fudge that you can slice, right? So look oh. at this. Now, the very first inventors of halawa were the Arabs, of course, uh, back in the seventh century. I don't think you've had it in a while. Let's, let's cut some up for you. We could do like a little taste test oh. for fun. Why don't you try that? Tell me what you think. The texture is interesting. I really like it. Mm. It's it's um like it's kind of like hard Play-Doh, but like <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's like a it's like a sesame fudge. Yeah, I guess. It's like a sesame. It's just like fudge, but it's made with sesame. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice sweet flavor and it's nutty. Um, so I I personally love it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make chocolate truffles with this. Wow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slice up this in cubes and we'll, and we'll dip them in chocolate and then we'll top them with some of our favorite toppings to give them color and texture and crunch. Okay, so we cut them in little squares, right? Like in little cubes like this. And earlier what I did was I got two kinds of chips, one white chocolate chips and milk chocolate chips. So the way I like to do it is I put it over a double broiler I just get a bowl, I put the chips in, and I have a, a saucepan underneath, bring it to a boil and keep stirring it till it's smooth. You can also use the microwave, but be careful when you use the microwave not to scald the chocolate. And you might have to add a little bit of coconut oil to make the chocolate really smooth and get that sheen. But I did this with both and worked out great. So we've got the chocolate and what kind of toppings? Bring in those toppings okay. Natalia. So we got two nuts. Okay, we've got <laughs> slivered almonds and pistachios and two fruits yes so we've got freeze-dried mango and freeze-dried strawberries so we figured that could add some nice uh, color right mm -hmm. so what now what we can do is dip the chocolate i mean the the uh, halawa by the way it's uh we say halawa but it's also known as halva and so we're gonna yeah so take that mm -hmm. And then we're gonna um, just coat it with the chocolate very gently because you don't want it to fall apart. Yeah, it's kind of fragile. It's a little bit on the fragile side, but it's doable, guys. You can do this. We're gonna put it on the parchment paper like this. And then add the topping. So in this one, I love chocolate and strawberry together. So we're gonna add some strawberries, see? So let's do that, mm -hmm. and uh, let's do that and finish as many as we can, then we can give them out as gifts. OK, 
Okay, the cool thing about what we just did is that the leftover chocolate she gets to work on on the fork. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Natalia? I mean, okay, I know they're not perfect looking, but it was a fun way to spend an afternoon yeah. and they're still going to taste delicious regardless. I think if uh, you don't have chocolate chips, what would be really ideal, which I could not find in the store, perhaps because everybody bought them up, are the chocolate melting discs. They have those. I think mm. Ghirardelli makes those. And they're oh, yeah. discs and they melt really, really nicely and they make a great glaze. So uh, we, we tried the best as we could using chocolate chips. I added a little bit of coconut oil to make them glossy. No two truffles are the same. <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna give these out and spread some joy during the holiday season. And that's what this is all about, guys. I mean, I know that a lot of people are not in the best mood, which I understand, but try to create little bits of your own joy any way you can. Try to bring cheer into other people's lives, right, Natalia? What do you think of that? Yeah. Did you yeah. enjoy doing this? I mean, yeah, that's it's chocolate. So no matter, <laughs> even if you don't know how to cook, it's still gonna taste good because it's full of chocolate. Yeah, exactly. I always say, you know, if you smear chocolate on grass, I'll eat it. If you put it over a rock, I'll eat a chocolate-covered rock. Well, so no, <laughs> I, I would break my teeth. Though. But uh, thanks to the guys at Cortas, uh, their uh, halawa or halva was delish. And you got a little lesson in how to on on where it comes from, the origin from the seventh century, and here we are making it today in 2020. Thank you for joining us. Now, if you need uh, any kind of entertaining ideas or gift making ideas, I even have a recipe on how to make homemade halawa if you want in my playlist, and I will link it up in the info card so you guys can make your own if you don't want to buy it. That's totally understandable. Uh, but yeah, I have lots of great like cookie recipes people can try, main entree recipes, you name it. I've got it here on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free, right, Natalia? Yeah, it's free. It's free. It's free. So until next time, uh, we're going to be licking the forks and we will see you. <laughs> we'll see you again. This is the best part. Thank you. Bye. If you were cool enough to watch till the end, here's a discount for you on my cookbook, 10% off. Just use the promo code HOLIDAYSALE10 at feastinthemiddleeast.com.